Yo, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to be testing out ZBrush Core Mini. So I'm going to be comparing it to Blender Sculpting as because Core Mini is a free version of ZBrush. So it's a free sculpting software. So yeah. Yo, what's going on? So welcome back to another video. So this is going to be a video of me testing out ZBrush Core Mini, which is basically the free version of ZBrush. But how does it stack up against Blender? Because, like, well, I mean, ZBrush is super expensive and Blender is free. So this is the free version. So why compare a paid pro, uh, super expensive paid product to a free product? What do I think? So yeah. Um, so obviously, just looking at everything. I mean, we have all our brushes up here. So we have standard, which is like the dual brush and blender, like clay strips, uh, inflate. Well, we have intensity. That doesn't change the um, resolution like the rest of the brushes. Like you can see, yet yeah, as resolution add resolution but the inflate doesn't give me a pinch oh, wait is that oh you can move huh? what is rock what does rock do okay whatever um okay we can move I don't know how to, whatever. Okay, we have a draw size, so I'm going to side view. And then, ah, that's front view. And uh, my brush. Okay, that looks us. Uh, okay. Okay, cool. So we have this. That end is back up. It's like. Actually, I downloaded one that's similar to this. This one is basically the default sculpting one. And then this is the old, nice one that everyone used. Huh. I don't know if we stole it off them. Whatever. Um, okay, that just changes the resolution a lot. Is it alt? Ah, oh, control right control right click. Shift. Ah, oh, that's just snaps it. Uh where the freaking one now? Okay. Uh ah, alt. Uh and control. Okay, so it's pivot, zoom. Zoom and pan. Okay. Ah, oh, we have him over here. So zoom, move. Okay, so that's like, that's like recentering it. Okay, that just gives us a floor. Okay. Local. I don't know what that does. Whatever, doesn't matter. But uh, okay. Um. Ah, you can see the rays. It's like a wireframe. Like viewport wireframe. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, whatever. Okay, so uh, what, what is the control? Alt and then draw size. Shift. Ah, alt. Okay, so we can. Let's just mark out the brow. And then we can, like, wait, no. Alt. Okay, can we can remove. 
and then we can wait so we have browse uh, and then we can like add those to the zygomatic bone uh, shift quite nice that videos have shift it's uh, smooth I guess it's like a nice keybind for it and then we can flat it okay so we can go move uh, scale wait yes ah you can hover over stuff do I do the same thing what is pop up oh whatever whatever um you we can change intensity uh whatever okay cool so then we can drag it down like that and then we can make a map like a small more squished up face wait does it matter oh is it the size of the brush ah okay so the bigger the sizes Bigger the size is the less resolution you draw with. Okay. That's cool. So here it's like high res and then if I make it big it low res. Okay, cool. Let's, let's take this down. Then we remove uh alt move. So then we can go move. So this is the grab brush. Uh, raw size okay so I'm gonna have to get used to uh, UNS Anyways, if you've been enjoying this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know down below if you use Blender or you use ZBrush. And enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.